So go here, right click, insert, go to a misc, and then look for layer. And highlight the ones that you want to use. So you see how I'm highlighting these in green. I'm holding shift to click on and off. Then you click on set children. You know it's working if you hit show children and it shows a, you know, hit a key. You can see that all three of the sounds are playing on the layer. What we want to do now is select the range for these sounds on the keyboard. So I'm going to go to this automation thing here. And let's say we want the C to be the kick only. What I want to do is double click here. And now we have what is called a zone. All right. So now the zone is set for this, that key right there. So if I'm on the layer, we hear everything. But if I hit something else, notice the hat is not on. So I'm going to do that the same thing. So instead of C5, let's do D5, right? And I'm also going to right click it so it's blue. That means the root note is, you know, the, the note, the regular kick sound that you hear right here. That's what happens when you hit the blue or you right click it and set it to the blue. So here we got on the layer. And then lastly, the snare, we're going to put on the third key. So that one, I'm left click, also right click. Doesn't have to be at the same time. And. If you want to set it on something like the drum pads, like here, it's pretty much the same thing. Just click on the drum pad and you can see it's saying note C3. I want to go to the hi-hat. I'm going to look for C3, double left click and then right click it. You can see the hi-hat is there. If you go to the kick and let's see, this is C sharp three. We're going to go to the keyboard here, C sharp three. And then lastly, the next one is going to be a D3. So I'm going to go to the D3, double left, and then right, and just like that.